Hi guys, welcome to this lifestyle in Europe. My name is Furkan and this vlog is about a four day trip to offshore petroleum installation called Vicent, which is located in North Sea just half an hour by helicopter from Norway's second largest city, Bergen. Uh, I remember the first time I had to pack uh, for an offshore trip. I was so unprepared. Uh, the idea of going offshore was overwhelming enough. Uh, since then, I have gone to a number of rigs and having an offshore packing list is a good idea. Uh, so what I usually take with me is uh, personal protective equipment, steel-toed boots, uh, one is safety helmet with chip strap, gloves, uh, safety glasses, a jacket. Uh, most rigs have really fast 24 uh, 7 laundry service. Uh, if you drop your clothes in the morning, you should have them back before sundown. Uh, since I'm going only for four days, I won't be using the laundry service. Instead, I will bring with me uh, extra clothes, some t-shirts, socks, underwear, uh, and then toiletries. And you would also need some electronic gadgets. Uh, I'm taking with me the laptop. Uh, remember to take the charger and mobile phone and the charger. Just remember, it's not allowed to take your mobile phone out in the field because uh, oil rigs are full of combustible materials and heavy machinery. And the most important thing is your ID card or passport.
The usual working shift is 12 hours on and 12 hours off. And many shift patterns are a mixture of both day and night because operations run around the clock with no rate down time. Offshore jobs have often shift patterns of two or three weeks on the rig and then two to three weeks onshore. I've just eaten a little bit and uh, now I am ready for go out in the field and uh, have a trip just to see around how things are. Usually I've just seen all the equipment on paper, in IDs and flow diagrams. So now I will go out and check how it is in reality. Uh, the weather is very nice as you can see here. It's uh, sunny, uh, not so much wind. Ready for going out in the field. So usually when we go out, we go out like this. Uh, with gloves, safety shoes and helmet. All offshore rigs have good recreational facilities to keep onboard stuff entertaining when not on shift. Uh, it can be from small movie theaters and pool table to air hockey, large screen TVs and video game console, so you won't be bored. Offshore installations have a dedicated team of kitchen staff who prepare food around the clock, often with the self-service style canteen. Despite the offshore location, fresh food is shipped in regularly, meaning you will have plenty of excess of fresh meat, fruit and vegetables. Offshore job salary depends on your experience and role. Uh, however, rig engineers can expect to be paid well uh, due to a combination of the specialized skills uh, required and the risk associated with working on a rig and the personal sacrifices made in terms of working hours and not seeing your family. Taking all my belongings.